morning. We are in Mumbai Airport. We're just about to go through security to get our flight to our next destination of Goa. There's a Centurion Lounge that we have access to through our Amex Platinum card. But we're hoping that there's no silly three hour time limit rule because otherwise we're a little bit screwed since our flight doesn't leave until 4.50 p.m. and it is 11 o'clock right now. I think the good news is that there may be other lounges that we can go to if we do get kicked out or we're not allowed in. So let's just see what happens, I guess. having spent five hours in the Mumbai Centurion Lounge, we have now accumulated enough information to give you our rating. Okay, so we start off as ever with food. Definitely the quality was very, very good, but the variety wasn't quite there. You didn't really have any kind of non curry options necessarily, and there wasn't kind of anything too diverse there. So with that, then we're giving this a seven. As for drinks, you had the option of a beer a sparkling wine, a red or white. Soft drinks, the juices weren't readily available. There were just a few on the buffet, but they did provide mini water bottles. So with that, we're giving it a six. Cleanliness, we're giving this one an eight. All in all, it was very good, and the staff were very diligent about making sure that they cleaned up after us. But there were still a few little bits here and there that maybe were a bit unsightly, so. That's why we're giving it that rating. As for comfort, this is a very small lounge and they had three different seating setups, all of which were comfortable, but there just wasn't much variety. So for that reason, we're giving it an eight out of 10. In terms of amenities, it was very thin on the ground. They had the usual charging stations. The Wi-Fi at first was very spotty and we had a really hard time connecting. And even when we were connected, mine ended up dropping out because there were too many connections and it had been maxed out on the server. So not the best experience. And beyond that, it was even at the point where the toilets were not even in the lounge. You actually had to go through the airport in order to find them. So. As far as I go, is then we're giving this a five. With that, we have a grand total of 34 out of 50. But it is now time to board our flight to Goa. So let's get Goa in. <laughs> We are finally at our resort in Goa. I think we're both feeling a little bit tender. There was a bit of turbulence on the flight and then the guy who picked us up to drive us to the resort fancied himself to be a bit of a racer, so... I don't think it was all his fault. The roads are super windy mm -hmm. and once you get into the country, then they're very narrow. So there's a lot of starting and stopping too when you're passing other cars, but yeah. yeah. 
pretty intense. It definitely was. But it was interesting to see what Go was like along the way from yeah, the true. airport to here because we're yeah. in South Goa. Goa seems to be a pretty big region and mm-hmm. we're in Agonda Beach. And it is so lush and green here. Mm-hmm. And it's similar to Mumbai in the sense that like the roads are very modern. There seem to be only cars on the road, no tuk-tuks. Lots of cows left. Lots of cows, yes. Lots of cows on the road. And like the restaurants and stores are all in proper buildings. Yeah, and I think because of the Portuguese influence that came in here, then you notice a lot of colonial architecture around as well. And even a lot of churches mm, too. Definitely. So it'll definitely be interesting to explore it in daylight because obviously we arrived and had a little bit of daylight, but we did most of the drive in the dark. Exactly. But we'll look forward to checking that all out over the next few days. I think the plan is to take some time for ourselves, but we will definitely show you around at some point. Yep, and we'll check in periodically throughout our stay. But until next time, though, take care. And keep smiling. And we actually have an Okay, cool.